And the countries hit hardest by the virus seem to all have close links to the Chinese Communist Party. Today we look at Ecuador's ties. Entity's Tiffany Meyer reports. As bodies are left on the streets and temporary morgues are built outside hospitals, Ecuador's virus death are pushing local funeral homes to the brink. With a shortage of wooden coffins, the government is forced to use cardboard ones. Ecuador is one of the hardest hit countries in South America. Crude oil is its main source of revenue, but its key pipeline broke early April. Most of its exports are now halted. Ecuador's president, Lenin Moreno, says the country is facing an unprecedented economic emergency. Those countries hit hardest by the virus appear to have one thing in common, close ties with the Chinese Communist Party. Italy, for example, is the worst hit country in Europe with over 23,000 deaths. In 2019, it signed on to China's Belt and Road Initiative despite warnings from allies. It even has Chinese police officers patrolling its streets. Ecuador likewise has ties to the CCP. With help from Chinese loans and workers, Ecuador's largest energy project started taking shape in 2010. It's called the Coca-Cola Sinclair Dam. The New York Times reported the dam was to provide a third of Ecuador's electricity and lift the country out of poverty. Instead, the project was a disaster. The dam sits under an active volcano, its machinery lined with cracks due to low-quality steel. When workers tried to run it at full throttle, it shorted the country's national grid. Now it only runs at half capacity. But Ecuador still has to pay China. It owes $19 billion for the dam and other infrastructure projects, and China wants it paid in oil, Ecuador's most valuable export. It now has the right to 80 percent of it, an incredible figure. And not only that, China gets the oil at a discount, reselling it for a profit. Critics call China's lending practices debt diplomacy. In recent years, Beijing poured billions of dollars into developing countries to help build their infrastructure. When countries can't repay the loans, Beijing then seizes control of their key assets. Ecuador owes China more money than it owes any other country. The political influence is obvious. Ecuador has waived visa requirements for Chinese tourists. In 2015, under pressure from China, a local cultural center canceled Shen Yun a week before the performance. Shen Yun is a classical Chinese dance show, which also depicts human rights abuses in China. China also financed and built the country's national emergency response system. It's a vast surveillance system with 4,500 cameras and 16 regional response centers. The surveillance system was largely built by Huawei and the Chinese state-controlled corporation. Chinese leader Xi Jinping visited the surveillance system's headquarters in 2016. He said he is glad to see Chinese companies achieving great things in Ecuador and hopes they can contribute more to the relationship between the two countries.